Hi, I'm Donna Dewberry. We're painting One Stroke Painting today. One of the things that we're going to do is a big open flower, and this flower is made different. So it helps you sometimes to say, okay, there's my center. And then we're going to go from there, and we're going to slide up. Oops, I see how dry that is. That's when I need a little bit of floating medium. Even though I have tons of paint, I pushed hard to work that in, really hard, so the bristles don't split apart. We're, with a three-quarter flat brush, we need a really nice chisel. I still need to go into the floating medium and work it in sometimes. And sometimes just the tip of the brush, the tip that's being dry and not working. So let's go across this again. So now look how smooth that goes. All right, now what happens is I reverse direction of the bristles, push down and come back. So see when I don't have enough paint? All right, by the time you load this two or three times, you don't have that problem happening. So see, I have the dark on the outsides and the white on the inside. Now, I'm gonna do that one more time and then I'm gonna show you a simpler way to do that if you're still struggling with that. So I'm going to come up to the point. All right, now what's happening is I have more of a flat, drier base coating here. So I have to keep getting more paint. All right, but you see how I lean that out? Now for some people that's up to the chisel, reverse direction, the slide back, is more difficult so what especially when you're first starting so here this is not cheating this is just another way to do it is that we go to a point pick up fresh paint and start here and then go to a point and that's easier for some people okay and we're gonna pick up more see I pick up paint quite often so we slide out reverse direction and slide in now this is when we can start making curves in it so we slide out, then I lay, let me turn this so you can see, I lay the brush a little bit and then turn it up on its chisel. Okay, so see we're getting a little bit more character to the petals. Because these are longer, you're going to put more medium than you normally do. Because they have to, it has to go, the, the floating medium helps you make that long movement okay now how fun is that now we're going to go put it right here in the middle this is such an easy project all right so now i'm going to take a liner make it inky so i dip in water at least twice i'm out here i've got the brush laid and every time i come around i touch my puddle of paint roll my brush so i'm ready to go here Okay, we don't want it pasty, and we don't want it watery. All right, now look what happens here. I'm going to do my center, so I'm going to push down and do my stamens. And I want them out here. I want to be where I want it to end up, and then I pull it back to the center. It's way easier. If you start from here and try to pull out, you're not gonna, it's not going to be very easy for you to do that and place it where you want it to be. Because I want some of them to show between the petals. And there's usually at least five stamens, so I'm not a horticulturist, but I have some that are in my class and they tell me these things all the time. So, so I don't know if you'll find a, a lily with that many petals, but you do in my painting, okay? I make sure that I say it's whimsical. <laughs> this is just whimsical. Even the leaves, you can do long, slender leaves. Okay, now you might try to work that in so it's not got the streaks in it, but sometimes I think that looks really fun. See that? I pull a stem into it. And I like pulling the stems into it while it's wet because it kind of separates the thick paint if you have it on there. And what I love about one stroke is see this little dry edge here? You can just pick up medium and restroke it to fix anything you're unhappy with. All right.